Ito po ang hitsura ng aming entrance pathway early December last year at napakasukal niya po kasi po napakabilis tumubo ng mga damo. Kaya ayan, and inuna namin ang garden namin in front until the other side. So maganda, medyo okay na po siya and also a little bit of fence. So this is the before. Ayan, so and I'm gonna show you the after we put the bricks. So ayan, just for you to have an idea how messy it was. Alright, so there. O, di ba po? You can really see the difference after putting up the bricks. Okay na siya ngayon, di ba? Medyo nag-improve na talaga siya. So there. Ayan po ang improvement after laying the bricks. Free labor. So bumili lang po kami ng materiales. So I hope you will enjoy this video all throughout para po matuto din kayo paano po ba, paano po ba gawin ito. Ayan, madali lang po. If there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and watch how we did it from the start until the end. Okay, yan. So, makikita nyo po dito, fina-flatten na ng asawa ko yung nilagay niyang bato-bato at saka mga buhangin. But actually, the first step is to make sure na i-level nyo po muna yung lupang paglalagyan ninyo or yung pathway. So, nagbungkal muna siya dyan. Nag-asarol muna siya bago niya nilagay yung buhangin and yung bato-bato. And of course, you have to put a string to make sure na straight yung gagawin yung pathway. Ayan, magkabilang gilid yan. At night, ayan po ang ginawa niya. So, he's trying to compress the ground. Yung nilagay niyang bato-bato and buhangin, he is compressing it. Actually, there is a machine that uh, we can use. Kaya lang wala po kami ng machine na compressor ng ground. So, he used the car to run over the sand and the gravel. So, ayan na po yung the following day, the next day. So, he continued doing it there. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo po, gumamit po siya ng tabla para maprotektahan yung sand at hindi sumama sa gulong. Kasi minsan, di ba, umuhuka yung gulong eh kapag kanyang sand, malambot siya. So, this is the technique that he thought and it works. Ayan po, if there's a will, there's a way. Okay, so actually, madali lang po ang gumawa. Basta may paraan lang tayong may iisip. And actually, two days lang tong ginawa ng asawa ko. So, we already had a beautiful pathway. Bricks pathway in two days. Free labor. Ayan. Lahat po ng ginagawa namin dito ay DIY. Do it yourself. Magmula sa fence, dyan sa pathway namin. He will continue doing that until the end of the pathway. Dun sa entrance. Okay, so he started laying the bricks here. Ayan po. Sinimulan niya na ang ilagay ang mga bricks. Ayan. And the pattern that he followed, yun po yung L-shaped pattern yung ginawa niya. So actually, marami pong pattern. Merong derecho, merong uh, parang checkered, parang chess. Ayan. So yung design po na yan is L. Uh, which is I like also. So dun po sa ginawa niyang layer ng sand and gravel. Bali, ano po yun? Una, sand, and then ligay nyo ng gravel o bato-bato. Pagkatapos po nun, iibabawa nyo uli siya ng sand. At saka nyo siya if a flatten or i-compress using your car, use a plywood and run over the plywood, katulad ng ginawa niya. So, ayan na po nung gabi. Medyo marami-rami na ang nailagay niya ang mga bricks. There. So, really progressing so fast. Kasi, he really tried to finish this in two days time. So, ayan. Overtime yan. For two nights, um, he did until 12 midnight. Kasi nga naman po, pagkahapon na, medyo lumubog na yung araw, hindi na mainit. But during morning, hindi niya masimula ng maaga-maaga kasi po masyadong mainit. So, ayan. Ayan na po siya. Ayan po yung nagawa niya. Nung unang araw na nag ng bricks, there, hanggang gabi yan, nilagay niya. Ayan. Pasensya na po, madilim. 
Pero may ilaw kami niyan. Pero madilim pa din ang kuha. Ayan. So, this is the following day. Makikita nyo po, ang dami niya nang nailagay na bricks. So, ayan. Medyo late lang akong kumuha. Ayan. Kaya, ang yun na abutan ko. So, ang ganda niya nang tingnan. It's getting more beautiful there. So, and one thing you could notice, tingin ko nangawit na siyang gamitin yung martilyo. Kasi po mabigat yung martilyo eh. So, itong gamit niya, actually it's not a mason. Hindi po siya mason yung pangbasag ng semento. Though, although it looks like it, but hindi. It's, uh, magaan lang po yun. Pang bricks talaga siya. Magaan lang siya. Para hindi niya, para hindi niya mababasag yung bricks kapag ka, We're trying to push it in. Okay, so for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do not forget to click subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll get notified on my next video upload. So, Mommy Loves Gardening. Ayan po, i-upload ko po lahat ng gardening tips ko, lahat ng pagtatanim ko, and I hope you could learn and somehow inspire with how we make our garden, our backyard. So, katulad po niyan, lahat po kami dito ay DIY. Do it yourself. Okay. So, here mapapansin niyo po, mas mabilis niya nang nililay out yung bricks kasi nasanay na siya. So, sa una, medyo mabagal pero mas na nasanay na kayo, mabilis na lang po. Hindi lang dahil sa finest forward ko po ito, <laughs> pero po talagang Mabilis niya na pong ginawa. Yung last part of laying the bricks. Okay, and one more thing to remember here sa pagli-lay out po ng bricks, kailangan po siguraduhin yung siksik ang pagkakasalansan ng mga bricks. Ayan. So makikita nyo, my husband is uh, really trying to make sure na siksik po sila. At hindi po malalaki yung kawang. Pero hindi nyo po may iwasan na meron talaga siyang parang kuwang na, manip, na maliit lang naman. At mafe-fill in nyo po yun ng sand later on. Afterwards. After finishing putting the bricks. So, there. You can see him. Ayan po. Sinisiksik nyo yung bricks. Okay. So, this is the second night. So, my husband had finished laying out all the bricks, okay, for this portion, the first part. Now, what he's going to do next is to lock up the sides. Ayan po. So, you have to dig deeper than the bricks. Kung yung pong nilagay niyang nilay out niyang mga bricks at the center, lahat po sila ay, ang nakailalim sa kanila ay sand. Dito naman po, no, he will be using cement. Para yan na po yung pinakalak niya. Ayan, para hindi siya magluluag. Para nakalak talaga siya. So there, he dig a little bit deeper than the bricks. Para malagay niya yung cement. Uh, there it is. Ayan, ganyan po. So nalagay niya na yung cement. Then after this, he will start putting the bricks afterwards. Okay, so as you see now, he is... Leveling the cement before putting up the bricks. Ano pang lock up. Ayan. So, kasi kailangan, syempre, pantay-pantay siya. Para hindi uka-upa tingnan yung sides. Para straight. Ayan yung sides. So, there. Ganyan po. So, ganyan na po yung paglagay niya. Diyan sa gilid. Mataas siya para makita yung pinakalay ng bricks. Okay, so ito naman po yung last step. Ayan po. So, kailangan po nating lagyan ng buhangin yung pagitan ng mga bricks. So, this is what I'm doing here. And this is my part. Ayan. Tchanan! Ayan. So, finally, we're done. So, ayan po. Natapos na po. So, ayan na po ang hitsura niya as what I've shown you from the beginning. So, I hope you liked it. At sana po ma-entertained kayo. I have attached here the videos of my son and my nephew 
as they would like to watch themselves in my videos. Again, thank you, Luke, for watching our video and my sign. So just continue watching if you want to get entertained. Again, po. Salamat po. So, so, 
so this so the so the brown things the clean and and you must you want to to tell and to go to the kennel show and and it's called in the garden it's called the lamp pass the cliff so and and I like to to draw everything so, so next I'm going to show you my cousin his name is Kularu I'm going to show you Kularu Crater Pano. for watching mommy love gardening and don't forget to subscribe and, and this mommy love gardening uh, okay bye